So this is um, Adventures in Madness, I guess. Um, I've got this AMD Duron 650 system here, and I've connected up one of the shuttle hard drives to this system. I'm basically trying to see if this shuttle drive will boot in a different system. I mean, it's an AMD system different generation but I'm kind of interested to see whether we can get anywhere with booting this hard drive. If this works we might have something to look at. If it doesn't work then we won't have anything to look at and I'll need to find a more similar system like a different AMD system. I'm guessing that's going to be the case because we have got nothing here. We've just got a black screen. Here's the cat. Come to meow at us. I'm still a uh, black screen. This is looking like a no go. Force it into safe mode. It's detecting the drive. Let's do safe mode. Windows XP embedded. I think we're going to get anywhere with this without more similar hardware. So this this isn't uh, working. I've left it for quite a while. Let's try a different option. Worst website ever. If you need instructions on how to download a file, then your website isn't working properly. Maybe that's the whole point. You don't want people downloading your stuff. Anyway, downloading VMware Workstation Pro for Windows from the awful Broadcom website. I've managed to uh, crash this PC. It seems to have completely crashed. It doesn't normally crash. The mouse isn't responding, so I'll just have to um, actually switch it off. So I'm using my uh, Intel quad-core Q6600 system. It's got IDE, so I can connect IDE hard drives to it. It's got SATA and um, Generally, reliable, doesn't crash. It does sound like this hard drive that I've got connected to it isn't particularly happy though. So maybe that's causing some issues. If it's trying to connect or write to the um, secondary drive that's connected to it, this isn't um, going so well. Let me try and find a different shuttle drive. Maybe I've got one that's easy to get to. Yep. I do. It's kind of um, frustrating how Windows can end up deciding that you, the drive you've just connected temporarily to it is going to be, I don't know, used for something. I don't know what it's doing. But you know, it shouldn't be taking this long to boot into an SSD drive. Let's switch this off. Switch to a different shuttle drive and move on. This is a Mac store drive, Diamond Max Plus 8. I've got it detected there. Put it on a mouse mat. Should make it a little bit quieter. Oh, skip disk checking. Okay, so I wonder if I can continue the download without having to log back into everything. Restore, and let's have a look at downloads. Resume. Okay, great, that's downloading. And I was basically cleaning up the C drive to get a little bit more space. We've got um, the shuttle drive here, nothing on the desktop, program files, interesting. Looks like they used VNC for remote connections. Doesn't look like there's a huge amount there, oh, except there's more stuff here, interesting. Okay, so I've run into a problem, it's expecting a much newer uh, processor, I think it's expecting Intel second generation CPU onwards according to this knowledge base article so we're gonna have to go with a different idea hmm doesn't want to enable high hypervisor uh, have I got Windows XP I mean Windows 10 oh this will be the problem so we're not going to be using hypervisor <laughs> can't be installed on Windows 10 home so I could, 
create an image of this drive perhaps from here and then use it on a different machine. Let's try that. Okay, I'm going to use disk to VHD to um, create um, an image of this drive and then hopefully we'll be able to use this on a virtual machine. Okay, so did I extract it? Did that work? Desktop. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I've got a USB drive that should have enough room. This one. And I want the shuttle drive, which are these two. And away we go. And so we've got a copy. So seven, maybe eight gigabytes of data, which isn't too much. I'd fit on a um, VPN quite easily. And then with it being on a USB, we should be able to copy it over to the uh, Mac that I'm running, which has got uh, VMware on it. And I'll also copy over the download of VMware Workstation. So that'll be useful as well. I was just tidying up um, this USB drive and we've got a crash. Um, I think we're still copying. Yeah, we're still copying from the shuttle hard drive. We're still copying the image to the USB, but um, I don't think Windows really likes copying to USB like more than one thing at a time. So I think this is this uh, disk to VHD is still running. Me trying to tidy up um, this disk hasn't worked. But anyway, this is all just um, the awkwardness before we get to where we want to get to. Well, hopefully we get to where we want to get to. So we're very nearly there. I think it's almost finished this copy. Just to VHD, use VHDX. I could have ticked that, couldn't I? Prepare for use in a virtual PC. I wonder if um, that's going to make a difference. Um, Looks like it's fixed. I mean, finished. Is it finished? I'm not sure what it's doing right now. So we've got an 8.5 gigabyte hard disk image. Um, I don't know what this is doing. It says it's copying still. Um, if I eject this, will it let me? Or will it say it's still in use? Eject. Currently in use. Okay. What happens if I click cancelled? Will I have to start again? How long do I wait? It's basically 9.17. That's when that's last modified. I would say that that is finished. But I don't know. Okay, so disk to VHD is not using the processor. It's not using the disk. It's not using the network. So it looks like it should have finished. But why has this not finished? I'm eject. Is it still in use? If I cancel, are you sure you want to cancel? No. Am I recording? Yep. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. Um, still got the file there. Oh, it still says it's cancelling. Mm, how much space do I have locally? Not very much. Okay, I'm going to create another image just to VHD of the shuttle drive which is D and E. I'm going to tick prepare for use in virtual PC and I'm going to hopefully put it on the local drive of this machine just in case the USB drive was causing a problem. I'm ticking this box because I can imagine I'll try and use a VHD file on a virtual machine get it all set up get it going and then it'll not work or something because I haven't ticked this so I'm just going to do it anyway and hopefully this won't take as long because it doesn't have to go over USB and hopefully we can boot off this virtual disk in a virtual machine. Okay so that disk export to VHD completed successfully. Um, so let's close that. So we've got our VBZ VPC, Virtual PC, VHDX. I'm going to copy it to my USB drive. And hopefully then we can boot up 
into a virtual machine on a different machine. So with the magic of editing, we'll be coming back shortly with hopefully some kind of VMware. So while this copies across, I'm just firing up the Mac Pro, which is running Windows 10. And we've got workstation player here. Um, and let's have a look if we can create a, I don't want an ISO, I don't want an installer disk, and I don't want a blank hard disk. So yeah, let's install the VMware um, Workstation Pro. That should let us select the drive. Unless we can just select a um, virtual disk from here. But yeah, we might have much better luck with the Workstation Pro. So we want VMware Workstation. So we'll just install this. And we'll copy over the VHD file. I'll just put it on the desktop for now. I wonder if we'll have to uh, restart or not. Okay. Um, personal use. Great. And create a new virtual machine. Okay. Let's see what we get with custom. Um, so we've got Windows XP embedded. Doesn't seem to be an option, so home. One processor is fine because it's an Athlon. 512 is probably fine. We'll skip a network connection for now. Okay. Okay. Use an existing virtual disk. This is what I want, I guess. Um, the specified file is not a virtual disk. Um, why is that? I found V2V converter. Um, it's free. The internet says it should let me convert the um file i've got um vhdx into something compatible with vmware so i'll download this and we'll come back okay um i'm downloading vmware converter vmware vcenter converter um i tried v2v converter the download link didn't appear in my email so i'm gonna try the vmware vCenter converter which is from the Broadcom support site. I think the important thing about this website is um, making sure in the support portal you've selected this drop down VMware Cloud and then it takes you into a dashboard and you can go into downloads and there's like a million different VMware downloads in here and you can find what you need. vCenter Converter, hopefully it's free and works. VMware Workstation Player, VMware Workstation Pro, tools, etc. Um, so yeah, this is turning into quite a long video and I don't know if it's gonna work, to be honest. Um, so let's see. I've got my um, previous Windows 7 and I set up a Windows 2000. I don't know if I've um, shown this on video, so let's um, have a quick look, I guess. So yeah, set up Windows 2000 Professional. Um, it looks really good <laughs> in this little um, virtual machine. The text is really crisp. Um, let's restart that. So we're also running this converter. And so um, virtual machine file, we want to convert. Oh my goodness, it's not a supported source. So it was um, Windows 2000. Startup sound. Um, we can just pause that, and then we can go try find a different um, VMware image converter. Okay, so I'm going to use um, Q M O E M U M U to um, convert the 
disk from VHDX to VMDK, hopefully. Um, that is the plan, and I've just got it in a shuttle folder. Dash zero, or is that an O? VMDK, in the same folder, but a different name. Let me just check that's right. Convert P shuttle. P shows progress. O is the output file. Okay, and we've done it. So let's see if that works. So this is um, XP shuttle and use an existing virtual disk. Browse and I put it on C shuttle and I'll cut that and put that with the virtual machine shuttle paste. And let's see, convert existing virtual disks to new format. Yeah. Okay. Customize hardware. Um, uh, sure. Okay. Finish. And let's see what happens. Cannot connect. No corresponding device. Okay. Are we getting anything? Is anything happening? Ooh, we are. So this is the contents of the shuttle or one of the shuttle drives. Um, I don't know if we're actually getting anything though. Oh, um, it's just rebooted. Okay. Um, a flickering screen. Okay. Um, that's frustrating. Just looking for something. Um, so we can we can see that the cursor has been disabled, but when I'm moving my mouse, it is kind of um, or it was kind of doing something. Um, let me see where we can find this file. So it's finding a whole bunch of um, different things and some of it it's finding the drivers but some of it's not, um, AGP etc. Um, and I'm just copying over um, an XP ISO image that I've downloaded previously and then hopefully I can mount that removable devices, CD IDE, connect. Uh, connect, connect, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Settings. And use ISO image file. Where did I put this? Here we go. XP. So let's um, see what we get this time. We've got this little disk light here flashing. We've got uh, XP as a CD drive. Got sound. Not got anything on the screen at the moment. Okay. Let's see if we get anywhere this time. So should be able to select the CD drive. Oh, it should have mounted an ISO drive there. Um, all right, connect, maybe that'll help. <laughs> Even got a cursor, okay. Um, okay, oh, that's interesting. Uh, this should hopefully let us use the optical drive again. I wish there was a way to um, enable like a mouse pointer in this situation or for it to remember where to look for all these files. Just doing this without a mouse is pretty tricky. What was it? I386. Um, so it's still doing something hard disk and CD activity, even though if I try and click anything or scroll up and down, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, so yeah, I wonder if um, I can kind of force it to install the VMware tools. Maybe not, um, probably not while it's still booting up, while it's still doing this stuff. I also wonder if I will need to install, like, download Service Pack, um, XP Service Pack 2. Oh, it's 
switch the optical drive to VMware tools. Same. Oh, can I add a second CD DVD drive? That'd help be helpful, wouldn't it? And then I'll have um, constant access to the XBCD wherever I've put that. Okay. So we've got these green things, flashing, hard drive flashing. Okay, we've rebooted. Keeps asking for the same file. Um, and it's not connected the optical drive. So that's, uh, why is it not showing up? Is it gonna reboot or what? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, um, I just sent control alt delete to this and we've got this um windows xp embedded with the security thing so um this might be more useful because from here can um run things so let's see if we can oh we can run a command prompt can we um run the Access the control panel, perhaps. Um, uh, let's see if can I. Oh, I can grab and use the mouse. So, yeah. New task, and I can just browse. And from here, I can have a look at various different things. Um, I want to go up. Okay. So, Windows, Red Edit. Explorer. Okay. Still don't have the mouse. Um, oh, that's maybe a bit helpful. Apart from the flashing is not helpful. So I was just having a look around the disk image and there's this boot INI file and we've got this operating system. And we've got a um, thing here. No GUI boot. So... Um, if we can get access to that on here, which we should be able to if um, I can browse to it. Yeah, there's boot.ini. Um, if we can get to this, we might be able to edit the... I should have just... Uh, maybe I can just edit this uh, file directly. Okay, right. Let's get rid of this bit. Um, save and reboot. Reset. Yup. Let's see if we get the GUI. Graphical user interface. Okay, so we're still getting the um, driver install. I mean, hardware install. Things coming up. Hmm. Oh, it rebooted. Okay, let's um, shut that down. Can I go into this file? No, I won't go into that file. Okay, so we're back here. Um, we can run the task manager. We can go to file and um, we can browse. And we went in, I can't remember actually how we, um, there was a boot in your file, wasn't there? Um, in fact, we should be able to run Explorer. This has given us a browser. And we need to try and move this out of the way. And apologies for the flickering. This is super annoying, isn't it? I wonder if we can um, install VMware tools from this point. I doubt it, but maybe... If we go into here and we can go into the removable disk, perhaps. Oh, here we go. So let me see if I can find the mouse. Okay. Where's the installer gone? Here. So I can't really find the mouse unless I try and trick it. <laughs> and the Windows Task Manager is in the way. Okay, minimize, okay, 
Where is the task manager and how do I move it out of the way? It's interesting to see the performance tab. Okay, just grab things randomly, see what happens. Okay, let's do this and this. No, nope, it, doesn't, it doesn't let you click and then go to where your pointer is. That would be far too helpful. Oh, spacebar M. Oh, look at that, I can move it. Amazing. Oh, alt space bar M. Okay, and alt tab to VMware, alt space bar M. I can move this so I can click next or just do, okay. Moved it and then it moved it back. So alt N, yay. N space bar M, what am I looking for? Install I. Okay, we're installing the VMware tools. This might get rid of the driver pop ups, although asking for the XBCD is not helping. Ooh, I've not got this far with um, any of these total PCs. Um, and I've no, I thought I had a mouse pointer, but I don't. Um, so it's Finished the VMware install. It's still looking for hardware. Um, click the finish, and that probably Windows Task Manager Alt Space M to move it. And what's it doing now? Oh man, reset it. Oh, it's reset by itself. Is it doing anything? Loading. We're back to the um, flickering. We've got the. This screen again, um, processes, our new hardware, performance, networking users. Not letting me go down to um, my computer. Oh, there we go. And should we run Explorer again? Um, having a mouse pointer would be really handy. Really, really, really handy. Um, my computer, C. Boot. Let's see if it let us save this uh, no GUI option or if it's got rid of it. No, it added it again. So there'll be some kind of startup that um, puts this setting back in to so that we can't um, get the GUI. So I'm just going to delete that. Close that. And what this one says, it's got the um, XV key there. Hang in there. Okay, let's delete that. Why not? Yep. Okay. And let's just reset it. See what happens this time. Let's do it again. So um, I think we've ended up with the same thing. We're not getting the user interface. Um, we're not getting the mouse. And I'm pretty sure... Um, Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is um, getting us nowhere, basically. One of these options. So we've got Explorer. We don't have the start um, menu. We've got the Explorer again. I think I'm basically in some kind of loop uh, here where I'm doing the same thing over and over again and getting nowhere. So um, let's see what the... Um, Device manager is called. Okay. Um, okay, so have we got the device manager open? And we got a whole bunch of stuff that's not installed on this, um, which is kind of annoying. I thought we'd managed to install the drivers and things. I'm guessing not. Um, um, let's have a look. So, we got anything in the CD drive? Not right now. Okay. What happens if we try this? 
Uh, upgrade, fine, fine. Oh my goodness, seriously? Okay, so apparently I'm reinstalling Windows XP on this. Of the current install, I don't know if it's going to work in the slightest. Um, but I guess we'll see. I don't think it is going to work. Um, I am downloading the XP Service Pack 2. Uh, apparently completed. So we could mount that. Yeah, let's let's mount that. Maybe, maybe that will keep it happy. So, XP Professional Service Pack 2 uh, here. Yep, that's what I've just said. I've just said it's there. Okay, oh, do you think we're getting anywhere? Maybe we are. Okay, um, that should be where it is, shouldn't it? Oh my goodness, that's the file. Great. Okay, finish. This one, this one file. Is it, am I am I literally in a in a loop? Will it ever, ever end? This is the probably. Oh my goodness! Yes, please, I would like a mouse. I'd also like you to not ask for the um, disc every single time. Oh my goodness, where is this file? Do you think it managed to install any of those um, things? So, task manager. What was the um, device manager called? fmgmt.msc. So we've got some more things installed. Got a mouse and two and no mice. Um, Let's run Explorer again. What else can we run? Get rid of always on top. I wonder what mine we're getting this time. And why does it keep asking for the same file? Can we just have a mouse? Okay. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I could have just gone into my computer and then control panel. Um, trip of the mouse settings. Ooh. Control panel, admin tools, display, service pack 2. I wonder if I have admin rights on this. Just thing. Okay. So, can I have a second one where we get rid of that and go for GUI? File and save. Close that. And will it let us pick the other one? Mm hmm. Okay. Did that work? Yep. So if I click OK. Boot, or is it going to overwrite those changes that we've made? I think my guess is that it's going to overwrite those changes that we've made because, yeah, you wouldn't want a system. You want to go in, edit the settings, and then be able to do whatever they want when you want it to boot into a certain user interface and a certain, um, yeah, setup. So, yeah. Looks like um, we have got to the same place we were in before. Okay, I think I've got somewhere. 
I edited the original file. Um, I removed the boot.ini image, I mean, imp file and recreated the virtual machine. And I don't know if you saw that, but we had a sort of um, some form of Windows XP and briefly, <laughs> very, very briefly, we got something and now I think it's gone back to the gone. So we've got, yeah, we're getting this Windows XP boot up screen. I don't think we were getting that previously. Um, so let's um, see what we've got. We've got the, um, we've got this again. We can run task manager. We can go file, get a new task. We can do a command prompt. We can run explorer and um, let's get rid of that. And if we go to my computer, so in C, we've not got boot.ini. That's a little bit of progress, um, but we still don't have a start menu. So I just went through File Explorer and had a look at the D drive to see if I could get anything um, running and managed to get something running but also yeah, it's also not very happy because we can't go to the file explorer <laughs> um reset this so Explorer lets us look around the system. In my computer, we've got the C drive, which is Windows. We've got the D drive, which is where all the apps are and all sorts of things in here, including um, games in here. There's like hundreds of battleship. Uh, interestingly, called HMRC afterwards, Bejeweled. Let's have a look. See if we can get anything. Doesn't really look like it. Still got all the hardware trying to be installed. Cluedo. Almost got something there. Gold Rush. I think that'll work. Oh, almost. We almost got something. So I think without the right hardware, um, really going to struggle to get anywhere with this. And I think, um. We're getting to the point where this is taking too much time and it's turning into kind of like um, the, the, the people who try and make gold out of alchemy. That's it, isn't it? When you try and make gold from, you know, the atoms in the air or whatever else. And yeah, it's like that. It's, it's, it's turning into a path that leads to madness so yeah if there were SATA drives SATA laptop drives would probably be much easier to connect them to <coughs> a modern system convert the drives etc but there's only you know 24 hours in a day and um I've got other stuff to do. So, yeah, unless there's like some software like PCM that lets you emulate Athlon XP hardware and a touch screen. <sighs> See, PCM 86 box plus CPUs up to Pentium 2. Um, I mean, maybe I could put the drives in my Athlon system but again different hardware so it might not work I have taken out all of the hard drives out of the shuttle PCs 
and we've got my XP machine here that is an Athlon system. So hardware wise might be similar to the shuttle PCs in processor anyway in memory, not motherboard or graphics, but this system works and what I'm gonna do is try each hard drive in this and see if it boots. Um, it shouldn't take too long and the VMware system I didn't really get anywhere. So let's try this. So we're trying drive one, switching it on. This is a Mac store drive, it's 40 gigabytes. Don't seem to be getting anything. Not even the sort of uh, splash screen that we got with some of the others. Okay, moving on to another day arrive. Or I was going to say disk, disk drive, hard disk drive. Um, this is a Seagate, it's 80 gig. Connecting it up and switching it on. Did get the drive detected. Oh, we're getting something. I think it's crashed. No drive activity. Then I'll move on to the next one. This is another Mac store drive. This is 40 gigabytes. We're switching it on now. Drive detected. We try safe mode. Doesn't seem. Oh, wait, we've got a safe mode. Let's try that. So I paused the video um, and I've been waiting like a couple of minutes now and nothing's happening. So I'm going to move on to the next drive. So let's switch this off. Drive, which is another Mac store, IDE 40 gig, ATA 133. So I'll see if this boots, um, and then if not, I'll try safe mode with VGA. Maybe that's another one option to try. That is the drive showing up. Getting that bar that goes across. 
And then it seems to um, just freeze, I guess. Let's try resetting it. And I'll try um, VGA safe mode. Uh, we've not got anywhere um, on this, it's just frozen again. So one more drive to try. So this is an 80 gig Seagate drive. And we got that there. Okay. Um, not really getting anywhere with this. None of these are booting in this system. So I'm going to try another thing so we can have a look at the contents of these drives. So the next step, um, or rather the next idea, is to boot from this PC into Windows XP and then from the working version of Windows XP that we've got, we can start having a look at what's on this drive and have a look through some of the programs on there. Um, some probably won't work, but some might. So we'll just have a quick look at that. So the um, shuttle drive has got a two partitions. It's got a five gig boot partition, and then it's got a 33 gig data partition. And um, I think it's in this GM shell, all the different sort of um, apps, um, let me have a look, games, so in here there are, it's not telling me is it, but it's quite a lot, so there's 46 different things and there are things like Gold Rush, Battle Cards, Battleship, uh, Bejeweled, etc and um, I'll, I'll basically um, show you the ones that I can get working okay so we've got Bejeweled working by the looks of things um, and they're designed for um, touch screen um, PCs in like pubs and stuff and you can win money and things um, so all the um, apps have HMRC on the uh, file names because they've got to be compliant with the UK laws and things like that as far as I'm aware but yeah um, let's see what happens with this okay so yeah it's expecting us to um, insert credits um, it's kind of expecting a touch screen as well and there's no mouse so how we actually play this I have no idea because um, they're not going to have keyboards either these systems um, you're just going to have like things that you touch on the screen and you know it'll have expected you to put money in the machine so that's probably as far as we can get with that bit but let's try a some more okay we've got um, buzz whatever this is loading um, let me see if I can get sound working. So I've got sound, but nothing's happening at the moment. But it is expecting us to again have a touch screen to put some money in. Um, and it's crashed. So let's try that one again just to see if there's any sort of sounds as it loads up.
that one's a bit loud. <laughs> so I don't... Oh look, Sony PlayStation 2011, that's interesting. So I don't know if there's any kind of like keyboard shortcuts that you're supposed to be able to use to um, test the game. Um, but yeah, I've gone back to the desktop. Let's have a look at some more. This is what we're getting with a lot of the um, programs. They just crash. So I've no idea what this is, but... Um, it's loaded and then disabled the mouse. Um, we don't have a touch screen, so we can't sort of try any of the things. Um, but yeah, let's go on to another one. So we found another one that works, pub, pub quiz. Um, interesting. Again, we need to put in, um, we need to put in some coins and I'll have in the fruit machine, it would have had, you know, connections to recognize when people are putting in money in or when they're pressing specific buttons. Um, on this, we've not got that. So again, we're not gonna be able to do anything with this. Apart from maybe exit the game. This one just works very, very briefly and then crashes back out. Okay, we've managed to get this. So we've got Top of the Pops. Um, shame that we can't really get any further, but yeah, it's quite a few. Um, games that kind of look quite interesting. Um, I've got task manager so I can sort of quit when I need to. Um, and for example there's Top of the Pops, Crystal Maze, that would be cool if that worked, Trivial Pursuit, uh, Battleship, etc. It's also got some sort of collections, apps, daily cash up, date time, um, various different things, menu. So I'll like give this, no, forget anywhere with this. Um, yeah, various bits, video player. So yeah, there's quite a lot on here, but it's not, not going to work without the right hardware and the right attachments. And um, there's probably also um, security devices that it might be looking for um, before it's going to run properly. Um, so yeah, I think um, this is probably as far as I'm going to go with these shuttle PCs. Um, and yeah, I think it's probably time to um, move on and work on something else. So it's a bit more fun because this has been um, a kind of fruitless uh, journey in looking at some old PCs um, that don't work. And quite interesting though, having a look at sort of how everything's basically a PC these days, isn't it? Test app, nope. Images, TGA file, scripts, sounds, volume test videos. Let's have a look at this, why not? Interesting. Test sound, test app. And I'm here on the boot drive. There's things like Movie Maker, Ultra VNC, Micro Touch. Yeah, 
Interesting that kind of movie maker would be on here, but maybe they needed to put some stuff together. Anyway, we'll we'll end it here because otherwise we'll be carrying on forever. So if you've got this far, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day. All right, bye.